Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So if you are interested in new features that Microsoft is working on and testing in the Insider program, then just to let you know that the latest Insider preview build has rolled out to the beta channel Insiders on the 25th of January, build 22635.3130. And that was made available with the update KB5034218. Now, in effect, the beta channel is where Microsoft is testing and finalizing um, a cu good couple of features we are expecting to see roll out with our next Moment 5 feature update, which is expected to start running out to the stable channel um, late February, moving into March and April of this year. So some of these features we will look at today could be making their way to the stable channel shortly. Now, the first is Snap Layouts has received an improvement where Microsoft now says that when hovering over the Minimize or Maximize button on an app, to launch the layout box, you will now see app icons displayed in various layout options to help recommend the best layout option that works best. So if you are using Snap Layouts, this change may be a nice move in the right direction. And then they've also made an important fix available for the start menu, where they fixed an issue from the previous flight that was causing the recommended section in the start menu to be blank for some insiders where obviously your recent files and new apps were not being displayed if you had that enabled in your settings so that's quite an important fix that's rolled out and then widgets the new settings for widgets that began uh, rolling out in early december to the beta channel is beginning to roll out again after being disabled briefly and this is quite an important um, update to the widgets board and also the settings, because as I've mentioned previously, we're going to be getting the option now to finally be able to show or hide feeds. So you'll be able to choose which feeds appear on your widget board. So this means that you will now be able to hide your news feed, which a lot of users, including myself, um, have been waiting quite some time for. And I've seen quite a lot of comments on the channel that this is actually quite a highly requested feature. So um, soon we should be able to hide our newsfeed on the widgets board which i think is a step forward and then they fixed an issue that was causing the search highlights in the uh, search to not load and appear blank so basically the search highlights was not loading and was not being displayed in the search box and then they've also rolled out an update that addresses a known issue that affects the color font format now it renders properly, says Microsoft, and Windows uses this format to display emoji with a 3D-like appearance. So here we have um, the before on the left and the after on the right of the updated color format for emoji. So if you do use emoji, then um, this may be an interesting one to see when it does make its way to the stable version. Now over and above that, guys, that's more or less the key highlights and what's new. And over and above that, because... The beta channel now is getting closer to the stable release. It has received a whole list of uh, numerous bug fixes and improvements. Now, I'm not going to mention these because it's very similar to what rolled out to the stable channel earlier this week for the, um, the bug fix update that rolled out for Windows 11 to the stable version. So I'll leave that video um, on the update down below where you can just go check out the bug fixes if that would be something you would be interested in if you do find yourself in the beta channel. So that's more or less what's new. As mentioned, that's this is one step closer now to our Moment 5 feature update that Microsoft is testing now in the beta channel insiders. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.